Hey guys, Lewis here with NC Project, and this is a very special video for me today. As we started the channel, one of the main videos that helped us kick off a massive base of subscribers and viewers was Far Cry. In time, I've now done to what I think is all the Far Cry Platinums. Apparently, Far Cry Classic can still be achieved, but when I did check the PS3 store, it just wasn't there for me. And Far Cry 2 is now unobtainable, so we should be up to date. It's been asked by a fair few people, so I've collected the videos and put them into one big one for everybody to view. Please bear in mind that some of these were done at different times and quality scales do depend on the game. We do want to thank our members, the NC Collective, for amazing support. It's nice to see some new names and people join the server. And remember to like the video, guys, if you do enjoy it, and do not forget to subscribe. When people think of Far Cry, what game do they think of? No! Of course, they think of Far Cry 3. I personally have enjoyed all of the Far Cry games in the series, but this one stands out above all others. The best story, a group of friends separated on an island controlled by pirates, the protagonist Jason Brody out to save all of the friends and the brother, has the best villains, Vass and Hoyt, not to mention the best dialogue. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? This game has a very linear trophy list with so many miscellaneous trophies along the way so it's almost impossible to separate them into steps here but we will be doing the story and then just gathering them as we go. The only thing we'll be leaving till last is all the collectibles. There are letters, relics and memory cards in this game. With all of that out of the way, let's get to these trophies. But don't forget to like the video and sub to the channel if you are new. Let's go! The intro of the game is your friends have been separated but you are with your brother. You do manage to escape but only for a good few minutes before Vass, the best villain ever, shoots him in the head. He gives you a chance to get away by telling you to run. We take full advantage of this and Far Cry begins. Run, Forrest! Run! Run, Forrest! Okay, this is just this is Indiana Jones again now, but it's the this is the second film. This is Temple of Doom. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. And we get our tr first trophy of first blood. Escape the pirate and survive in the wilderness. The pirate is Vass. Do not call him the pirate. Pirate. This is Dennis, a man that tattoos without consent. Ow! Gives me pocket money for a gun and then sends me up radio towers when I'm afraid of heights. With the money Dennis gave us, we do buy a gun to go liberate some outposts though and start saving all our friends. Rick. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Wait, 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 wait. Ah ha ha. Optional side quests are available at each outpost, including Path to the Hunters. Tagged and tagged. Beautiful. Complete a path of the hunter quest. Just shotgunning dogs. It's not the, not my proudest moment. I mean, how that guy doesn't see that happen. No idea. They're all gonna die by knife. A doof. In cold blood trophy. Complete a wanted dead quest. Stabbed in the blooming chest. Oh. We then meet crazy Dr. Earnhardt, who makes us go through a cave high as a kite to get a mushroom for our friend he's actually saved. Magic mushroom. Return to the doctor with the cave mushrooms. Yeah. Trippy little mission yes, there. Fine. Thank you, we then get trophies for unlocking five skill points and liberating an outpost without being heard. Unheard. Trophy unlocked. Liberate an outpost without triggering an alarm. <laughs> Just shoot the alarm. And rebel without a cause. Liberate three outposts. Double trophy. That oh, feels good when you get two pops. Followed by trophies to kill a predator. We kill this tiger here. And also to tag 25 enemies with the camera for island paparazzi. There are a number of times Vass captures you in the game. And this is another one. You're trying to rescue two of your friends and he sets everything on fire. Classic Vass. You do manage to escape with one of your friends though. While in the back of a jeep. Blowing everybody up. Boom. Oh. A safe place. I'll take you there. Oh, worst day ever. Rescue Lisa from the burning building. It was the worst day ever. That's a horrible, janky little mission there. 
Ooh, jungle journey. Unlock 50 entries in the survivor guide. Easy. The major part of the story is the Rakiat and their leader, Sintra. Also, Vas' sister. She wants you to find a mystical dagger, which you do end up finding later in the game, but for somebody else for the wrong reasons and right reasons, and it's a complex issue and it's crazy, but this lady's pretty important. One of us. Complete the Rakia initiation. Now we've got to go find the guy in white. We then craft five upgrades and complete one supply drop for two more trophies. Road trip trophy. Complete a supply drop quest. Quick and easy. We managed to find a CIA operative by the name of Willis Huntley, who's actually a mainstay in the Far Cry series. He gives us a nice flamethrower to operate on future missions whilst we're out and about taking over radio towers. Ooh, full bars. Activate nine radio towers. Just trying to do it. Yeah, I'm going to be on a clean up afterwards. Uh, we're only like halfway through the story, I think. Maybe not even halfway through. We're already getting the radio towers, so that's handy. Burn the food. This turns into Far Cry 6 as well. Far Cry 6 just completely took this. Oh, money to burn. Is that for the five? Uh, it is $5,000 at the shop. Going for a trophy. All right, here we go. Is this 100 feet? And live. <laughs> oh, it worked. It worked. Free fall. Free fall more than 100 meters and live. That's how you do it, guys. I actually can't believe I got this in my second attempt, but you have to kill an enemy at 70 meters with the bow. All right. Let's see. Oh, Toxophila. Oh, what a shot. Kill a target from 70 meters with the bow. I did not see me getting that one. Oh, I'm happy. Die with the repair tool for the trophy. Improper use. There's the trophy. Kill an enemy with a repair tool. The next friend to save is the stoner Oliver, who's a little bit out of it. We start this mission by escorting him with a sniper rifle, making sure he gets to a boat safely. He's out of there. Where's that last one? Oh, there he is. I'm right on him. Ah, oh, I missed. Don't miss the last shot, Lewis. Once we get to the boat, we get on the turret and have some fun. And a trophy for that. Hands off my stoner. Rescue Oliver from the pirates. Yeah, he's definitely a stoner because he did not care. Woo, you saved me, man. The next person we've got to save is your friend Keith. He's being held hostage by this lovely chap, Buck. He also wants you to find this mystical dagger. Remember, for the wrong reasons and the right reasons and the crazy thing for Sintra, oh my god. You end up going on a wild goose chase, gathering three different kind of medallions, which is all this mystical magic mumbo jumbo gumbo hoo, and eventually finding this knife. You end up giving it to him where he doesn't really want you to leave when you find Keith in the bottom of his basement where he's actually been doing some very naughty adult things to him, which can end in only one possible way. Get on. Come on. Come on, Buck. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Stabbing a kick. Retake Wall Street. Rescue Keith from Buck. Oh. Brutal end as well. Now we don't need to give the dagger to Buck, we actually give it back to Sintra, as initially requested. Once given the knife to Sintra, Dennis lets us know of the whereabouts of Vass, so we can actually go kill him ourselves now. But as always, Vass is one step ahead of us. Delivers one of the most iconic lines in the history of Far Cry. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? And proceeds to kick us off a cliff with the cinder block tied to our legs. Classic Joyce and Brody, we actually survived the fall, all in vain, ending up crashing on a helicopter. Jason Brody turns into Jason Bourne. Oh no. And yet again, we cheat death with obviously the bullet hitting a lighter in our pocket while achieving two more trophies for crafting syringes and escaping Vars. 
again. Needle exchange. Craft 25 syringes. Hell yeah. Oh, have I told you? Survive the encounter with Vars and escape. Got my stuff back as well. The journey to kill Vars is not over yet as we return to Sintra to defeat an ink monster. A giant ink monster by shooting it in the face with some arrows. I mean, typical Far Cry fashion. Working our way through a compound to find and locate Vars once again. All to be jumped by Vars where he stabs you and you have your final battle with the best villain ever. Granted, kill Vass. We got him. Assault rifles, customize. So if we buy the optical sight and we buy the reflex sight, there it is. Aftermarket junkie trophy. Buy all attachments and paint jobs for one weapon. Then Willis, before he leaves, gives us a lift to Hoyt's Island with his CIA little plane. Die, 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 die. Oh man. Just in the open here. Screw you, buddy. Screw you. Oh, I just noticed these things. Bloody hell. This is your stop. Fly, Jason. Fly. Higher than a kite. Use your wingsuit to reach the southern island. Willis gives us his contact in a shady little bar. Contact's called Sam, Where and we also going? see a familiar face. Where do you think? Wait, am I in this game? That looks like me from afar. Waste your time. This enough? <laughs> Sam's quite a colorful character in this game. Very friendly, upbeat, crazy, jokey German. Sam has a great idea of how he can get close to Hoyt in order to kill him. First off, steal an outfit of one of his soldiers. Once we have the outfit, we see Hoyt in all his glory. Yeah, this guy here, this skinny guy in the suit. Evil villain. Proceeding to do some fun missions with Sam and the flamethrower, of course. Blitzkrieg! Seriously? Burn! Burn! In order to get inside the inner circle of Hoyt, we have to gain his trust. Hoyt has your younger brother captive in the cell below. We are forced to torture Riley in order to earn Hoyt's trust to get into this illustrious poker game. I'll make sure Sam gives you the information. Poker night! <laughs> Deep cover trophy, complete Riley's interrogation. Sorry, buddy. Smack him around. So Hoyt's been onto you the entire time. So when you do reach the poker game, he's onto you and Sam. You play a couple hands and he's viciously murders Sam in front of you. Cuts your finger off and decides, do you know what? Let's battle out. Let's do it, Jason Brody. Me and you, 1v1. Sparta. Ting, ting, ting. Yes. And another one. Poker night. Kill Hoyt. We then smash down the door and rescue our younger brother Riley, who's the last of the group to be saved. All right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a plane and a helicopter are going to be very different. So that's funny. Got him. You then get a call saying Sintra has taken your friends, killed Dr. Earnhardt, and brought them back to the temple. You then walk the path of the warrior. 
And at the end, sacrifice your friends or spare them. Here, I'm so sorry. What do I do? What do I do? Arrgh! What have I done? Jason. What a trip. We return to the island to continue. Attend the final ceremony. Well, that's the story. That is the story done. Okay, for the next trophy, we have to find the Hollywood star, and it should be just this buried head in the sand. There it is. Say hi to the internet. Find the lost Hollywood star. For the fearless or stupid trophy, you have to dive 60 meters in the water, so we use the glider to actually get far enough out that you can even swim that deep. Pain in the arse, this one, to be honest. There it is, fearless or stupid. <laughs> Dive more than 60 meters. Have to cut to this because I actually nearly missed this trophy then. <laughs> Lighting everyone on fire in a base. And we do get Heartless Pyro, kill 50 enemies with a flamethrower. As you can see, they're all on fire and I'm running around trying to get the recording ready for this. <laughs> At least we got it. Hey, Tony, my cover. <laughs> boom! Love the boom! There it is, trophy, got it. Kill four en enemies simultaneously with one explosion. I've been waiting so long for that trophy. Felt like I've done it 10 times, but oh yeah. So we have one more outpost to do, to get the trophy, and it actually looks like a pretty small outpost. I know there's two guys in that building and there's a sniper nest to the left over here. So we're gonna take everyone out now and get the trophy. We're good. They can't sound the alarm. Bloody patrol on the road got us, but that is it. And there's the trophy. Island Liberator. Liberate all outposts. Yes! The memory card collectibles are all in the safe houses, and now that we have them all, we can get the last memory card. And there's the trophy. Memory to spare. Gather all memory cards. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Zip line. Detach. Got him. Yes! Okay, anyone that knows that is the hardest trophy. Bloody hell. We got it. Never saw him coming. Thank you, then, for good luck. There's a poker trophy as well to win $1,500 in poker. I found the easiest ways through this side mission here. Awesome. And another $1,000. Never this lucky. And there it is, Poker Bully. That was so easy. Win $1,500 playing poker. So for the next trophy, if we craft a special syringe like this untouchable one here, should give us the pop. Let's see. And there it is. The good stuff. Happy days. Craft a special syringe. And for the final letter, which I believe is number 20, dead letters. Gather all letters of the lost. That's 20 letters. Another collectible set finished. Where is the last one? There it is. Is this for 60? Trophy Archaeology 101. We got 60 relics. I mean, there's 120 in the game, so you only need half, but... Rock always wins. Fully distract 25 enemies with rocks. And for the final trophy of the game... Learn the skill. Fully inked for getting all the skill moves, which should bring us Mastered the Jungle Platinum Trophy. There it is, guys. Far Cry 3 Platinum. Best of the series. Everyone knows it is. Far Cry 3 is the GOAT of Far Cry's, and I'm just so happy I got it. Oh my god, it's just destruction. Beautiful. This is the best sort of automated cannon machine gun transition in any Far Cry game for sure. Welcome to Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, starring Rex Colt. This game is the DLC for Far Cry 3, which in my opinion is the best Far Cry game. This is 80s themed and full of chaos. 
We have giant dragons that twerk in your face. They also destroy you with crazy lasers. Hyper beam attack! We have cybernetic enhancements, crazy weapons, and the normal base takeovers from all Far Cries. With soldiers to destroy and collectibles to gather, we're about to complete yet another excellent addition to the Far Cry series. Make sure to smash that like button on this one, guys. Thank you to our NC Collective for the continued support. Now let's go full 80s. Stick around. We've actually already got three trophies in this game. We have Welcome to the Party Pal for finishing the helicopter entry. Basically, just the opening badass mission. We also have one small step, which you get for finishing your first garrison. Now there are 13 altogether in this game, so plenty more to get. And finally, we had the trophy for killing our first dragon, Blood Dragon Down. Hard to kill at the start of the game as well, especially until you get some good upgrades. When dealing with dragons, at least in the early game, you can throw cyber hearts to lure in different directions. Earn from looting enemies when killed. You can use this to your advantage when taking garrisons throughout the game because you can use a dragon to do most of the work for you, especially when it comes to dealing with the enemies. I decided to go for a trophy I thought would be pretty difficult, just the tip, for defeating a dragon with an arrow. This proved difficult as a lot of the times I'd get close to the kill and then I'd run out of arrows. Eventually, we did manage our ammo well and get the perfect kill shot that splatters that big lizard. There is a trophy for getting all weapon upgrades in this game as well. Not all weapons have upgrades, but the ones we do need are for the Phasertron, the AJM-9, the Galleria Shotgun and the Cobrican Sniper. Plenty of upgrades for all of them and money is very scarce in this game. The next trophy is actually in a fair few Far Cry games. Simply fall from a height of 50 meters or more and survive. Easiest way to do this is just to glide over the water and belly flop. Unlocking the trophy, boop. After entering a garrison, we enter combat and release a dragon that was already there. If the dragon then leaves, we patiently wait to return back to stealth, and that manages to pop Running Man. We begin our next stage of the game by cleaning up the map before we continue with any story missions. Garrison first, then side missions. Where's the last guy? Where's the last guy? There he is. Is there a super cool way we can kill this guy? I think he's the last one. Maybe the bow? <laughs> yeah! Yes! Way to go, Garrison! There we go. All the garrisons done. All 13. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Gotta use the pistol. Gotta use the pistol. Bam, 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 bam. Got him! This is it. This is the rare tiger. Yes! Didn't even touch me. Thank God for that. Oh, they were scary. Find and kill the rare cassowary with the cobra cow. There it is. And it's with, with the sniper. Bam! Got him. That's it. Hunting challenge. Success! Go with the elite Omega sniper because, well, snipers are dicks who deserve to die. Like this guy. Total dick. How the hell is this a mission? Jesus Christ, they're hitting me a lot. Is this one up here? Is it him? No, it's not him. Is it, is it you? Yeah! Kill them all! Nice, got a trophy as well. Finish all the predators' paths. There you go. All the predator missions done. Oh! That was good, that was good. Just jumped off the edge and just stabbed him in the face. Couple of shots to him. Beautiful. Now let's talk to the cyber nerd. Excuse me, sir. You saved me. Ooh, nice like Jesus. <laughs> Finish all the hostage situations. I am nice like Jesus. Got hair like Jesus. Is that a cyber panther? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Murder nature. That is killing every single kind of animal. Oh, I've been looking for that bloody cyber panther for so long. Ooh, another trophy. And I'm pretty sure... This is the last of Dr. Carlisle's notes, I think. It is. What are you reading for? Find all of the notes. There you go. So we just got to get, uh, I think, two more tellies and one more VHS tape. And we got all the collectibles as well. Okay, we are on our way to get the final TV set, which is here in the water. As long as the sharks don't come and try and nab me, we should be fine. 
Oh, the trophy! Come on. Collect. Why won't it collect? Boom! The drug of the nation trophy. There you go. All of them. All of them. Let's get the last VHS tape now. If I can get back on this bloody boat. Eh. There we go. Okay, where is it? Give it to me. Inside or outside? It's outside. VHS tape. Yes! The greatest format of all time. I don't know about that, because if you remember correctly, using a biro to rewind it. But, another trophy in the bag. Okay, let's go do... Give a damn here. We've waited to collect everything on the map before continuing with the next story mission. So, it's been a while since I've done a story mission. Okay, now this is sick. Got a minigun here. Oh, you want some too? Destroyed. Getting some headshots off with a minigun. Where's this dragon? Give me this dragon. I'm going to pulverize him. Andy can take out the guys for me. Nice. Okay, I'm going to have to kill this thing. Oh my god, shredding. 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 I can hear him screaming. This is insane. This is insane. Bam! Into jelly. Ah, oh, you turd. Get rid of this thing. Boom! Come down and face me, you rusty cum buckets. <laughs> rusty cum buckets, for God's sake. Rex Colt might be the best uh, Far Cry character, to be honest. Does he beat Jason Brody at this point? Jason Brody never said rusty cum buckets. Time to break some eggs. There is always, and I mean always, a flamethrower mission in in a Far Cry game. Excellent. I like mine extra crispy. Come on, let's get that brain cage off. There you go, brain cage off. Where's the other one? Brain cage, get that brain cage off. That's two. You need to take five off altogether, but I'm not sure if you can do all five in this one mission, but it's, it's a start as this is the first time we've actually seen the brain cages in the game. At least we get another two dragon kills here, though. Oh, there's one. Make him go bang, bang. Turn into flubber, come on. Explosive rounds on this machine gun seems to be pretty damn good. And splat. Why are my drippings with goo? Oh, there you go, another oh, another brain cage. Wait, I just got to set them free. Is that for five? I've done it already. Oh, I must have seen brain cages before in the game. <laughs> Sick. Uh oh, blood dragon inbound. Oh my word! Oh my word! Mount the gun turret and defend yourself. Ah, they've given me. I've nearly killed him anyway. Nearly killed him, but get a free kill with the gun turret. Boom! Splat. Why do I waste all my ammo for? There's always a mounted turret mission, and there's always a flamethrower mission in all these games. All of them. And I've done them all, so I should know. Ooh, hail to the king. We got a trophy. What was that for? Ah, reach maximum level and become the ultimate badass. <laughs> <laughs> Hail to the king, sir. Level 30 is ours. Can I break these open? Oh, I can. There's one headshot. Ah, these are the fellas I've got to kill. I've got to kill the three different kinds. There's one with a knife. This one's got a knife as well. No scope. Bam! <laughs> Test your might. What is this? Mortal Kombat. You're about to leave the open world behind. You won't be able to access the island or the adventures until after kicking Sloane's butt. Last chance to reconsider. Proceed. Prepare for combat. Grab a weapon and prove your might. Oh, sick. This is actually amazing. So I'm going to grab a pistol. You had it. Unlimited ammo. Okay. Round one. Fight. Okay, you got the running dead. No. When do I not going to face off against the other running deads? Oh! The only true stopper.
every headshot every type of enemy. Oh, cool. Okay, we got two more kinds of the running dead. Boom! Didn't know that was so close. Makes sense. There's a shotgun enemy here. That means I must have accidentally killed the running dead with a Molotov, I think was the other one. Or Molotox in this game, I should say. Yeah, this guy's got a shotgun. Okay, round one done. Into the next area. I'm assuming I'm going to get a new gun in the next area. And I do, the shotgun. Oh, it's an automatic shotgun. No, like, pump. Look at this. I still have to land headshots, which is actually quite difficult. I thought this would be a bit easier. It's actually easier with the pistol. I swear I'm getting him in the head. Oh my god. Thank god for that. Exit is opened. Next round. I mean, I assume there's going to be a machine gun now. A sniper. Jesus Christ. They're not trying to dodge. They're like slaloming me. You have earned the kill star. A kill star. As in, I throw a, a ninja star kind of thing. You own the kill star, a mysterious weapon fueled by your life force. It uses your health to fuel its destructive powers. Oh. Okay, that's pretty sick. Oh, it doesn't use a lot on my health. Oh my... Are you... Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, this weapon's OP. It is brilliant. It's just like, it's like, it should be like a DLC destroying weapon. Like this, this thing seems broken. Well, obviously it is, it's end game, but my God. Imagine getting this at the start, just run through the whole game with this thing. Enter the weapons lab. Survival of the fittest is what Slime just shouted. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna ride him! I'm gonna ride him! Oh my god, this game. This game's just got even more crazy and stupid. Look at this! Riding a dragon now with a Terra 4000 Gatling gun. Oh my god, it's just destruction. It's beautiful. This is this is the best sort of automated cannon machine gun, you know, transition in any Far Cry game for sure. For sure. Nuke him down, nuke him down. Dragon Slayer as well. 25 dragon kills. Perfect timing to get that, that trophy right there. Woo! End game. That's for completing the last mission, which was such a good mission as well. <laughs> Especially with the dragon. Oh my god, brilliant. Last trophy to get is just to upgrade everything. I think we need a few thousand quid more. Okay, for the final trophy of the game, we have to upgrade all weapons. And I'm pretty sure it's just the shotgun less. The Galleria 1991. 10 grand should do it. And I'm praying I actually do have enough money. I do. Come on. There it is, tooled up. The final trophy of the game. As you can see, 19 of 19 trophies, 100% complete Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Let's go! We did Far Cry 6, we did Far Cry 3, we did Far Cry Primal, and now we're here for Far Cry 4. Said in the fictional Himalayan country of Kiryat, we play as RJ Gull, a young Kiryati American who only wanted to spread his mother's ashes. We get caught in a civil war between Kiryat's royal army and the Golden Pass. The royal army controlled by tyrannical king, Pagan Min, voiced incredibly by Troy Baker. Please make sure to like this video if you do enjoy it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and that way we can get even more Far Cry games done on the channel. 51 trophies to get, let's go get this platinum. The opening of the game has you sitting at a table with Pagan, a captive of the Golden Path and one of Pagan's most trusted allies. Immediately seeing the character Pagan is, ruthless but polite, he leaves us and deals with the captive. Within moments of leaving, we're rescued by one of the leaders of the Golden Path, Sabal. Sabal helps us escape Pagan's fortress to bring us to Banapur, one of the homes of the Golden Path. Here we meet Amita. Between Amita and Sabal are the main story missions for this game. 
You can also select whose missions you'd rather do with different storylines being presented. We choose some balls throughout the game. The first trophy we earn is taking an outpost without being seen. It's made 10 times easier in Far Cry 4 with a lot of them having elephants you can free and take everyone out in. This is how you liberate an outpost. Just release the elephant. Got him. Tread lightly trophy, the first of many. Liberate any outpost without triggering an alarm. Yeah, just <laughs> unhinge an elephant. It kills them all for you. And shortly after was the quickest act in the history of Far Cry. Act one complete already. Welcome to Kiryat. Join the golden path. We take the opportunity to get the multiplayer trophies out the way early on. One for just completing a match on all game modes. The second for playing a top rated custom map. Like all Far Cry games, towers to climb are a necessity. Far Cry 4 is no different with bell towers, giving rewards such as XP, weapon unlocks, but most importantly here, trophies. From here, we go on a little trophy spree. Quick learner trophy. Learn 10 skills. Ooh, Shutterbug trophy. Tag 25 enemies using the camera. I think that's in Far Cry 3 as well. Oh, we got it from a distance. Kill a target from 60 meters or more with an arrow or bolt. Whew. Lining that one up. Lining that one up. Tricked out trophy. Craft five upgrades for your equipment. You just upgraded the loot bag. Well, red trophy. Read 10 notes. And with stalker buying. Custom fitted. We got all the... Paint is that and attachments for one gun. We're going to use the sniper. Okay, if we hijack this truck and deliver it back, we should get a trophy for delivering three cargo trucks. If I can get out of this tree. And Robin Hood. We got it. There it is. Woohoo! Hijack three royal cargo trucks and return them to a liberated outpost. As soon as we see that on the map, grab them. Grab them. Grab, go, go. We then get the Make It Rain trophy for spending 500,000 rupees at trading posts. Guns for higher upgrade. Trophy! The good fight. Reach Karma level 2, purchase any guns for higher upgrade. The next stage in the game is dealing with the arena. One of Pagan's loyalists are in charge of the arena, that lady being Noor. We escape the arena but return at a later date for story progression and more trophies. Craft. Craft. Yes! Dr. Feel, good trophy. Craft 15 syringes. Oh, I thought it was 10. 15. Low kill ratio. Low. Oh, defender. Repel three outpost retaliation parties. Oh, I didn't know that was a trophy. The first major mission of taking out one of Pagan's loyalists is Paul. Carrying him out on your shoulder like with Sam Fisher moving a body. This completes one of the four major enemy missions. Where is it? It's night time. There. Bang. 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 Quick, 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 quick. Yes. In the trunk. One down trophy. Decide Deplu's fate. That was a wicked mission. Stealth all the way. Another side part of the game is the hidden city of Shangri-La. Using hidden scrolls to transport you there in a dream state allows you to ring some bells and get some trophies. Okay, we're at the Gao homestead and if I buy a third item from this place, it should... Write me a trophy, fixer upper. Purchase three items from the Gao homestead. Oi! Drive by. I just feel so cool doing that. Yeah, I've killed 25 enemies now while driving. Oh, there's another poster here. Grab that. Rewriting history. We got 30 propaganda posters. And hijack the signal of this bell tower. This number 8 out of 17. And because it's number 8, we get end transmission, which is liberate 8 bell towers. Much like the pool mission, we progress to the second of Pagan's loyalists, Noor. Remember the lady I mentioned earlier who controls the arena? 
Here we infiltrate and have the option to kill or let live. Kill or confront Noor. I'm just killing her. <laughs> and there's the trophy for killing her. Two down or deciding her fate. Noor down. In Far Cry 4, there are fortresses as well as outposts to control. The loyalists control one in each area and finishing the story missions weakens them for us to take. Show yourself. Get some. I wonder if I can throw a grenade, cook grenade up there. Really, right? Ugh. Oh god! <laughs> With a grenade! And I've got the trophy display of fortitude. <laughs> Conquer two fortresses. <laughs> Destroy a heli with a grenade. Come on! A staple of the Far Cry series now, Willis. He's back and he's got a few missions for us. One of which is to protect him and take out some snipers. We managed to snatch multiple trophies here in Willis's missions. Are you familiar with Reaganomics? It was a sound policy that ensured the fiscal. Oh! Two birds trophy. Let's see that in an instant replay. I got it. I got it. Use a sniper rifle. Kill two targets with a single shot. Ooh, what a shot. Oh, multi kill. Got the trophy. Quad kill. Woohoo. Blow up a heli. F kill four enemies simultaneously with a single explosion. Just nuke a heli. <laughs> We then fly 5,000 meters in our wingsuit for the Like a Bird trophy. Willis's missions end with him semi-betraying you and kicking you out of his plane. Always complications working with the CIA. Of course, we end up captured again by Pagan, where his dialogue kills you with kindness. Hello. Did we enjoy our time with the CIA? Welcome to Degesh. I apologize for the Spartan accommodations, but you have been a naughty little shit, haven't you? Pagan then sets you up into a sky prison where we have to escape by grappling down the mountain. We then progress the game with even more back-to-back -back trophies. Hey, flame on! I got it. Finally, someone burning to death. That 50 enemies with fire. I didn't realize it was 50. That's why it's taken so long. Three grenades and two magazines to kill a heavy. Oh, and another trophy, deliver us from evil, liberate 12 outposts, killing the heavy for the final one. The third loyalist is Yuma, who uses psychedelics to trick your mind into another reality. We progress through a river of blood, a number of enemies, and a pretty typical Far Cry mission, very similar to Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 6 missions in this case. It ends up with a pretty average finish to her death, but it does only leave Pagan as the last standing main mission. Patrick Trophy. Decide Yuma's fate. Silver Trophy there. We take a break from the story to jump back into co-op to achieve two trophies. One for taking an outpost in co-op, and one for sitting in the passenger seat of a car and perform a vehicle takedown. A big thank you and shout out to fellow content creator Platinum Rob for helping me with these two trophies, as the takedown from a vehicle was a little painful. But now we get back to the campaign and start pinging some more trophies. First one back on a quad bike. Oh, we got it. Roadkill. We got it. We got it. We hit him with a quad bike. That's 25 people run over. 25 people run over. <laughs> get it with the quad bike at the end. Come on, hit him with the mortar. They're too close to me, I think. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We're not too close. Rain of death. Kill 30 enemies with water rounds. Ha <laughs> ha! Let it rain. Progressing through many more side missions. This one here for rescuing hostages. The trusty sniper has helped me in all Far Cry games so far. Why should number four be any different? Oh, no one left behind trophy. Rescue 15 hostages in rescue quests. Trigger man, eye for an eye. That's three assassination quests complete. Like the co-op takedown from a passenger seat trophy, if we use the buzzer, 
or the gyrocopter to take down a vehicle, we get another one. Gotta love the gyro. Gone. Yes! The sky is falling trophy from a buzzsaw. Take someone down. <laughs> get a takedown from a buzzsaw. The gyrocopter. Love it. With the story coming towards the end, before the final missions were instructed to do a defining task. If you take Sabal's missions, he asks you to kill a meter, and the reverse if you took a meter's missions. Once a meter is dead, we lead a group of Golden Path rebels into Pagan Min's fortress, capturing different areas and ending with the destruction of his statue. With the fortress taken, the statue destroyed, we complete the mission Ashes to Ashes. The Royal Palace mission begins right away with a short drive up the mountain to Pagan's home. Here we're met with a tough choice, let him live or kill the tyrant. Once again, Troy Baker's dialogue made it one of the toughest choices for any Far Cry game. God, I love Pagan Min. I wasn't going to do it, but I did it. The king is dead. Gold trophy. Decide Pagan's Min's fate. <laughs> I, just, I just thought. I was thinking the whole way up I'm going to spare him. And I didn't. Now that the story had been completed, it's on to cleaning up miscellaneous trophies, such as side missions, arena grinds, gathering all the skills, and many more. Switch to the next vehicle. Oh, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Just get on the next one, just get on the next one. Just ignore them, just ignore them. Ignore them, they don't matter. They don't matter. Oh, you only had to change once, it's just hover. Oh, for. No, 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 no. 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 Gearhead Trophy pops. That's three Kiriati films, racing or survival activities. So this is the last stronghold. And I'm just going to go guns blazing in for this one. Woo! Woo! We're going fully. We're going big boy. Oh, I'm just going to melt, melt these cars. You want some as well? You want some as well? I feel like the Terminator. And you're down. Where are you going? Oh, and that's all she wrote. All clear, trophy. Liberate all the outposts. Done. Woo, hand of justice. Eliminate three pagans wrath convoys from the back of an elephant. Why can my elephant not get through like little boxes? They're so hard to control. Elephant kill. Come on, kill, 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 kill. Keep killing, keep killing. There he is. <laughs> Charge! Oof. And we got it on the last kill, Tosca. Kill 30 enemies with an elephant. <laughs> love it, love it. Come on, come on, 40 seconds, 40 seconds. Couldn't do it in stealth because I'm so bad at stealth on this game. And good at Splinter Cell, but I'm not so good at stealth on Far Cry. But I got loads of time. Screw you, buddy. And diffused. Oh, for the trophy, diffuser. That's for completing three bomb diffusal quests. And for the final Manny Wheel, right, tributes trophy. For spinning 10. I can hear the mask, but I can't see the mask. So I'm just going to throw a C4 and just. Hey, <laughs> I got it. I got it. Exorcist. That's 15 masks removed. Or destroyed. All right, let's get that last letter. Should be in here. Break the, break those down. Number ten. Woo! -hoo! Caretaker of memory. That's ten letters found. More collectibles finished. Honey badgers, where are you? I'm a little nervous because they're just going to come out like. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> he went boom. Come on, honey badgers. Got to be nearly done now, surely. How many have I killed? There's so many. There we go. Hunting survival success. Oh, well rounded. That's six hunting quests completed. Where's the honey badger? Oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> that was easy. And if we skin it, if we skin it, come on, give me the quest. The rarest game. That is three Kyriat Fashion Week quests finished. Thank God. Throw a rock. Distracted. One eternity later. Ooh, there it is. Misdirection. Distract 15 enemies with rocks. Thank God. Little tedious trophy, that. One of the last trophies to get was to achieve Arena Rank 5. The mode we chose was to survive three rounds. Thankfully, it only took around 30 minutes to level to five. Victory again. Ooh. I am king of the arena. And the People's Champ Trophy. Reach Arena Rank 5. And for the final trophy of the game, this has been tedious, like Primal was tedious to get all of the skill moves. I've just been grinding for three hours of XP for this. Doesn't sound a long time, but it gets repetitive. Let's get it. Fully loaded, gold trophy. And give it to me. Master of Kirat. <sighs> I'm so happy with that. Platinum for Far Cry 4. All yours, guys. Welcome to the Far Cry Primal Platinum. Why Primal? Well, after the release of Far Cry 6 and 3 on the channel, I thought Far Cry was done for a while, until I saw the number of comments saying how underrated Primal was. Alright, alright, fine, one more Far Cry before I move on. This game has 51 trophies, including the Platinum, and other than the story, it's basically just complete the map in its entirety. With the normal collectibles, outposts, and bonfires, it's classic Far Cry fashion trophies. Get a number of kills on enemies using all the different weapons and of course a few challenging ones, but we'll get to those later. Just remember to like and subscribe to the channel guys, it helps a bunch as we go from guns and ammo to sticks and stones. Far Cry Prime was set 10,000 BC in the land of Oros after the end of the last ice age. It follows the character of Taka, a hunter of the Wenger tribe. The story on this game isn't long nor is it overly brilliant for me, personally what makes this game fun is the gameplay. Stabbing other tribes with a spear or taming a giant pet saber tooth. If that doesn't take your fancy, you can always throw a pot of bees at somebody. Now, I've actually got the first trophy of this game from when I played it in 2016 for about 10 minutes. You get it for just finishing the first five minutes of this mammoth hunt mission. At the end, you get attacked by a saber tooth, lose your friend in a fatal rock fall, then you learn how to craft a bow and claim a campfire. Then the story of Primal really begins. At the start of her journey, we get the vision of beasts. There are three visions throughout the game, ice and then fire. The main plot of the story at this point is just to recruit more people for your little village. And we do that by killing the Udam, one of the two tribes in the game that you rival against. We also have an ability to tame beasts. Leads to several trophies in this game and you get an abundance of different animals. Wolves, dolls, bears, saber tooths, you name it, it's there. Spiritual advisor. Hensei joins the Wenger village. As I said before, story missions mainly get you access to other tribes, people to join your village, increasing stats and resources when you upgrade the huts. Across the world, you also get different kinds of collectibles, cave paintings, bracelets, but most importantly, the Daisha skulls, which we get here. The Daisha head, there's one collectible. A lot to get, these cave paintings. Lots more to get. Okay, first things first, we upgrade my little area, Takar's cave. Home improvement trophy, build or upgrade any two village huts. Our village gets attacked as part of a story mission, giving me my first proper fight repelling the Udan. Get out of here. Get out of here. You want to throw? I'll throw. How'd you like that? All on. Come on. There's no such thing as stealth here. No such thing as stealth. What? Eat it. Got some clubbing to do. And he's clubbed to death. Spearproof trophy. Repel the Udom attack. 
as all Far Cry games have a fast travel point, this game's is the bonfires. We then pick up a trophy for getting a population of 20 into the village. I think I get a trophy for killing a tamed beast and then skinning it. I'm so sorry, just jamming my spear in your side doll. We're sorry. So if I skin the doll now. Tears of shame. Trophy. Kill and skin one tamed beast. Kill and skin. We're sorry. I'm so sorry. Grey Huntress. Jaima joins the Wenya village. Wenya village? I'm just going to butcher it every time. On the hunt completed. Woohoo! Oh, map maker. Discover 15 hidden locations. Just to show you what kind of people we're recruiting and upgrading huts for in the village, we have this guy here. Another story quest, and he starts the day by pissing on you. Oh, he's pissing on me. <laughs> But Mr. Fix-It, Woga joins the Wenger village. Ow. Beat the club. Oh. Aim. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, menagerie. Tame seven beast, rare black lion tamed. Oh, and fancy friend, the tame one rare beast. The next one to join us is Karush. He loves fighting, headbutting you, and fighting. And we have a great little fight here against the Udam warriors. Oh, a headshot from behind. Dead eye. Karush joins the Wenya village. Wenya, Wenja. I will never get it. We started off with the vision of beasts, and now we're onto vision of ice. Give me a spiky club and some enemies, and here we go. Jesus. Hitting Neanderthals with a club from the Greek gods. Oosh. Great. Really good. After that, we get three trophies. One for getting 50 kills with our tame beast. The second for crafting 100 items in our craft wheel for armorer. And the third for healing our pet 25 times using meat. Stealth bow action here. Oh, this is just beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. All right. Sharpshooter trophy. Sharpshooter trophy. Eliminate 100 enemies using the bow. I got it. All right, let's get clubbing. So if you're not aware, you can actually ride mammoths in this game. You can ride a number of animals, brown bears and saber tooths included, which will help for a trophy later on. But at the moment, it gives us a nice little start to water. Hey, trophy, 12 labors. Complete any 12 specialist missions. Oh, bullseye, trophy, kill a target 70 feet away from <laughs> all using an arrow. Got it. Woohoo! Once we get to the end of a story arc, we fight the boss of the Udam. Dar. Dar was really strong and powerful, but no match for the spears. Oh, is that. Is this the. This is the captain guy. He's just poisoning me. Oh my god, there's so many guys. Come on. Ow. Oh, I got the trophy. Peace. <laughs> Eliminate 10 enemies using stink bombs. No, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Once we defeat Dar, we actually take him back to the camp and recruit him. Dar teaches us how to craft that horrible poison, the berserk bomb. We're now facing our second tribe of the game, the Izila, who use fire to destroy their enemies. We rescue a few of our tribesmen from one of their bases and pop a new trophy. Oh, and trophy, Liberator. Rescue a Wenger captive from the Izila. Woo! Oh, right 
on target, kill a target. Yes, I got it. Kill a target 50 feet away using a spear. Oh, yes. Oh, takedown there. Killer's belief trophy. Eliminate 25 enemies using any takedown. Another trophy in the bank. Oh, skewered. Skewered. Eliminate 100 enemies with a spear. Got that one as well. Eat it. Eat the pain. Eat the pain. Eat the pain. Eat it. The pain is yours. Much like the Udams, at the end of the Azilas, we go to their final four and face off against the leader. And exactly the same way we recruit Dar for the Berserk Bombs, we recruit the Azila leader for the Fire Bombs. Oh, headshot David and Goliath. <laughs> Eliminate 10 enemies using a sling. Done it. Oh, that was beautiful. Bad trip. Influence 25 enemies using poison. That was with the poison shard instead of the bombs. Vision of beast completed. Vision of ice completed. Vision of fire to go. Third and final one to complete the third section of the game. There you go. There's... Yeah, gotcha. Trophy for the traps. Eliminate 10 enemies using traps. It's a trap! Even though we captured the leader of the Azilas, it's not actually the real leader. The warlord itself, they all celebrate this mask of Azila, and one of the story missions is to go and claim it. Capture it and pretend you're a god to infiltrate their lair. We sprint for our lives to try and escape the tomb of Prati here. It gives us an amazing gold trophy and sets us up for one of the final challenges and levels of the game, where you have to defeat essentially the warlord. There's one of the Udam and one of the Azila. Crafty, crafty, crafty. Still the Iz Izilla mask from the crafty. Of crafty. I can't say that. The mask of crafty. Done. Woo! Another two quick trophies we managed to get is using the owl scout, which can attack enemies to kill 15 of them. And earlier when we were riding the mammoth, we managed to get onto a bear this time and get our 25th kill on a mounted animal. Lab. Lab. And stay down! Eliminate 100 enemies using the club. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, love? Eat fire. You eat fire. Everybody eat fire. Inflammable trophy. There it is. Eliminate 50 enemies with fire. Suck it! The last two main story missions are about taking out the heads of the Udam and Izila. The hunt for all is the Udam leader, and he's the first one we've got to kill. He is very hard. Hit him from behind, use the beast. That's it, that's it, we're getting him, we're getting him, we're getting him, we're getting him. Come on, yeah, I don't care, poison me, go for it. Okay, he's killed my beast again. Come on, mate, spear in the face. Spear in the face. Spear in the face. Come on. Come on. It's like a thousand attacks to knock down 1%. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, that was so difficult. Evolution in action. Complete the mission, the hunt for all. Once we've defeated all, we head off to the top honcho of the Zila tribe. This is Batari. You used the mask you stole earlier to make everyone think you're a god. Batari doesn't fall for it and she ends up just shooting you with a bow from across this fiery pit. To be honest with you, it's a pretty unfun fight. She calls in waves of enemies and seems to take damage while you're killing the enemies and that kind of surprised me a little bit. It's probably the most boring fight in the game in all honesty, but the death scene, one of the best. Throw in! Throw in! Oh my god. Pretty vicious. Get your hand out! Two Ash. Trophy unlocked. Complete the mission, the Fall of Batari. As the story missions were now complete, 
we start the post game, which isn't really a post game in Primal, it's all weirdly connected as one, which include the Sabretooth, the White Wolf, the Scar Bear, and the Mammoth. In between that, we do capture 10 outposts and upgrade all of our huts. Cue the trophies! But I've got to do a bear, a wolf, a saber tooth, and a mammoth. So I reckon the mammoth's going to be the hard one for the rest of like, I deal with. Yeah, that's it. Burn. I want to watch you burn. Oh, yeah, I got to tame it. <laughs> I don't kill it, I tame it. I forgot about that. Hey, here, kitty. Woo! Tame the blood fang saber tooth. Now he's mine. Sorry about all the stuff I just said. And tame. Oh, thank God for that. That wolf was good. I mean, I'm never going to use it. Good boy. Tame the snowblood wolf. About time. Nearly missed this one as well. Capture 10 outposts. I thought it was capture all outposts, so I wasn't recording. Now I have to record. So we should be getting the trophy here for completing the upgrade on all huts. Last one is Wogas. Real Estate Baron, Silver Trophy, Complete All Heart Upgrades. Took a while just to get all the gathering items, but it's an easy trophy, I guess. So after getting all the heart upgrades, we do get the trophy Big Teddy for taming the Great Scar Bear. We move on to actually killing the Blood Tusk Mammoth. And the Gold Trophy of Expansion for capturing all outposts. 15 of 15. So... Inside this cave should be the Blood Dragon Easter Egg, and you get a trophy for it. Mark IV Enger. Discover the future past. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Discover the future past. One of the dragons from Blood Dragon, basically. Awesome. The next trophy is we have to jump off that point right there. So I will see you when I reach the top. Okay, we've reached the top. I mean, look at this view you get at the top. Pretty insane, the world they've built here. But it's, uh, it's an Assassin's Creed trophy, this, being Ubisoft, and you just got to jump into that pool. So we're going to jump. And hopefully, there it is, Candor of Faith. <laughs> I missed the pole. <laughs> That's amazing. But you don't even have to land in the pool, you just have to jump off. That even made, that made it better. That's so anticlimactic. <laughs> On the map, there are orange side quests. They are help wenger quests, beast kill quests, and tribal clash quests. We must complete a certain amount of each of them to get three trophies. Okay, no, no. okay, no, no. Ooh, good neighbor trophy. Complete 15 help wenger quests. Did not expect to get it there. I thought I'd have to do way more. Is that 8 out of 8? That's all of them. Master tracker trophy. I knew I'd get it. Complete 5 beast kill quests. Woohoohoo! Oh, crush your enemies. Complete 10 tribal clash quests. Woohoo! All of the clash quests done. Collectibles and skill moves to go. We just get the pick up 80 collectibles trophy as well. 80 of these bad boys all across the map. Didn't think I was going to get it at that point, but we did. So 80 recordings. We only need one trophy now for the platinum. And that is to get all of the skill points. Four skill points for that one, for example. That's three more levels just for one point. It's going to be a little bit of a grind. Okay, and for the final trophy of the game is to unlock all skill points. Now, just a note. This took me four hours of grinding after I thought I'd It'd take me 10 minutes. This has been tedious. It has made a very decent game very annoying. It has put a little bit of sour taste in my mouth and I'm so tired of getting this trophy. Expert Wenger trophy unlocked, which gives us Apex Predator, the platinum trophy, obtain all trophies. I am so done with this game. Thank God. <laughs>Far Cry 5 Platinum is a very highly requested video on our channel. I've had more requests than I've had at dinners. Oh god, yes! We've done a lot of Far Cry games on this channel, so if you do enjoy this, please make sure to check out those videos too.
let's get into this platinum. The remote community of Hope County in Montana has been taken over by the radical cult led by Joseph Seed and his siblings. The US Marshal Service issues an arrest warrant for Joseph Seed. After a quick arrest and bringing him to their helicopter, one of Joseph's followers brings it down, jumping directly into the rotors and crashing the helicopter. Cultists quickly arrive, rescuing Joseph and kidnapping the sheriff and two other officers. We manage to escape on foot and get rescued by Dutch, a survivalist living on his own island in the center of Hope County. He explains there are three regions of Hope County we'll have to take in order to bring down Joseph. We start with John Seed, one of Joseph's brothers, then move on to Faith, his sister, and ending with Jacob, his older brother. This is also where we create an appearance for our character. Well, considering we're in the south, we've got to go with a big mullet. Not to mention my hair's getting long, so not too far off myself. Trying to make him look as much like me as I can right now. <laughs> we get our first trophy for liberating Dutch's island and then purchasing $1,000 worth of clothing. First mission of note was to retrieve the Widowmaker, a crazy colored truck with Gatling guns strapped to the front. This mission was hella fun. Holy mama. Look at this thing. Ram through the roadblocks. Bam. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Look at this. Destroying. Holy moly. Oh, trophy. Road gunner. While driving or leaning out of vehicle to kill 25 enemies. <laughs> I've already got that one. When you at the start of the game. We take a quick detour from the story to smash out all the multiplayer trophies with fellow trophy hunter Platinum Rob. Huge thanks to him here as these trophies are a pain in the ass. First trophy here for 100 enemy kills in arcade multiplayer. We get arcade competitor to win 10 featured maps in multiplayer. Arcade hero to play the arcade hero mode five times. Play three quests with a friend for hitting it off. Arcade enthusiast for completing 10 featured maps. And arcade player for reaching level 20. What a faff. Within each section, doing activities will make you a target for the head of that region. In this case, John Seed. He sends out a hunting party to capture you, and this goes for Faith and Jacob later. These occur three times before the boss is revealed. Air travel is a big part of Far Cry 5. Nick is an ally, and he wants you to retrieve his plane. As a reward, get a trophy. Ooh, we got the trophy, a wing and a prayer. Fly Nick's plane, hopefully you're not afraid of heights. Taken by John for the second time, we manage to escape his silo where Hudson is held captive, and we get ourselves a trophy for being deemed the sin of wrath. Of course, it wouldn't be a Far Cry game without a few bugs and glitches. Um, what's happened here? I think he's frozen. <laughs> Take down into glitch. We swiftly get the What Now trophy for completing three side missions. Following clues to end three treasure hunts grants us the Scavenger trophy, and managing to get 25 takedown kills grants us the Close and Personal trophy. In all Far Cry games, you have to liberate outposts. Far Cry 5 is no different. The only exception here is you only need five for the trophy. We take our fifth, and that starts the John Seed final mission. Oi, Copperhead Rail Yard liberated. And get the trophy for it as well. Liberator, liberate five locations from the project at Eden's Gate. Woo. And we got a trophy for it. Kicking the Hornet's Nest. Trigger the Wrath of a Herald. That is John Seed as the Herald. Uh-oh. John Seed's mission starts off with him holding some nearby allies hostage. It eventually all goes to pop, and we end up mulching down a number of his men. John then takes to the skies, and we follow him. Shooting down pilot John Seed is all that's needed before he tries to escape on foot, and then we eventually gun him down. Don't forget to loot him. After killing John Seed, we're off to go rescue Deputy Hudson inside Seed's underground silo. All the siblings have these as bases, and they're filled with a load of guards. We find Deputy Hudson and escape the silo, completing the first of the three regions. Now on to more light-hearted trophies, driving Nick's pregnant wife across the beaten dirt roads to the midwife, and then helping Larry the scientist out with an experiment. Hit the button on the generator and send him off. Oh god. Did I just vaporize him? I think I did. Yeah. Put aside skepticism and help Larry. <laughs> I think I just vaporized him. Alright, if we buy this scope and this silencer. Locked and loaded. That is all attachments for one weapon. So if we line up the headshot. 
Oh, ghost kill. We got it. Second try. Perform a headshot kill with a bow or rifle on a cultist more than 150 meters away. Woo. Oh. <laughs> Squash and run. Run over 20. Run over and kill 20 enemies. That was a good one right there. The next herald we deal with is Faith. We're captured again as we're exposed to the Bliss, a drug used by the Seed family to convert you by force and enlarge their following. Converts under the influence are referred to as angels. We get exposed to the Bliss and earn our first Faith trophy. Oh, for f Extra crafty for crafting 25 recipes. Followed by unlocking Peaches, a cougar who slots straight into your roster. One of the main missions in this region was to destroy a water treatment pump station. This was a great mission as it showed the dangers of the Bliss drug airborne. After gunning down all the angels and members of Faith's forces, we finished the mission for the Sewer Rat Trophy. Sabotaging vehicles to kill five enemies grants us the explosive surprise trophy in the same mission. Ah, stock garage, buy an attractor for another trophy. And we get the buy three vehicles trophy. Throw rock. Oh, opportunity Nox trophy for throwing the rocks. That's the distract distraction one. Distract 15 enemies. Normally get that towards the end of the game for me. Second time we're taken by Faith, we're having to rescue the Marshal as the Bliss has taken him. Another progress into the story. Ignorance is bliss. Why are you on the table? Why are you on the table, mate? And we did get blissful. Save the marshal from the bliss. So both times you get taken by faith, you get two trophies. That's nice. Come on. Come on, just die. Yes! I got it, I got it, I got it. Ignoble beasts. Kill a bison using only melee weapons. God for that. And like all Far Cry games, the Like a Bird 5000 meter wingsuit trophy is back again. Followed by speaking to 50 citizens around Hope County, this grants us the Ain't No Wallflower trophy. What's happening here? <laughs> I'm gonna punish that bull. I'm gonna punish that bull for humping that cow. Yeah! <laughs> Where's the beef? Tenderize a bull with your bare hands to death. <laughs> with the marshal bewitched by the bliss, Faith puts an end to him and another ally. This leads us to the mission, the lesson. We need to confront Faith once and for all. We end up in the blissful garden, entering the gate to see Faith in a dark Lady Galadriel form. Joseph made her like this, made her into a druggie basically. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Kill Faith Seed. Puff of blood smoke. With Faith now dead, it's the same as John Seed's mission. Head into the boss's silo and rescue the hostage they have. This time it's Sheriff Whitehorse we rescue. Found him, found him. Sheriff Whitehorse. Oh, don't be doing that now, Sheriff. No, 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 no. Sir, we can still save you. Uh. Yeah! 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 Yes! Woohoo! Sheriff survived! Sheriff survived! Didn't hang himself, thank god. That would have been too gross for this, uh, this game right now. Saving Sheriff Whitehorse. That's for completing faith, I assume. With no time to lose, we're into the third and final region. This time it's another one of Joseph's brothers, Jacob. Jacob is a military hardened soldier that uses the bliss to convert wolves and men into his own weapons. Jacob sends hunting parties again in the set of three, but this time it's to run a brainwashing assault course, in which the third time has an ally as the final target. Advanced Warfare. Only you, Trophy. Successfully complete the first trial. The capture party from Jacob, the first trial anyway. Add two. There it is, Survivalist. That is purchased half of all the perks available. Upgrading cheeseburger did it. Boom! The Herc Locker. Yes, Herc. Truly bond with Herc by destroying 15 vehicles together. I mean, it's point of name. Easy peasy.
Our next trophy is completing Clutch Nixon's races. We always have racing in Far Cry. Here we go. Clutch Nixon in Jacob's area. Dun, dun, dun. Every Far Cry has the races. Not a Far Cry without these races. Do it. Clutch Nixon. The quad bikes are so bad. They're so bad. Oh, come on. Come on. They're so bad to control. They go everywhere. They go absolutely everywhere. Ooh, blind jump. Woo, we did it. Yes, yes. There it is. The greatest SOB that ever lived. Laugh in danger's face by executing a clutch Nixon stunt in every region. There's only three. So, so if I destroy this wolf beacon, I will get a trophy for it. Just nuke everyone down. There, yeah, troublemaker. There's my trophy. Discover the joys of destroying cult property in every region. And a whiskey case. Take. Pack rat. We got it. That is collecting one of every kind of collectible. Pack rat. The final mission in the third region is finally against oldest brother Jacob. Jacob recaptures you, makes you run the assault course for the third time, killing an ally for the final target. We escape the brainwash and go on a mad rampage up the mountain, to which Jacob has turned himself into a sniper from saving Private Ryan. No Woo! Eat it! it Eat it! Jacob down! In his dying words, Jacob explains that his brother might be mad, but he's not wrong about all the biblical prophecies. Upon his death, we enter the third secret super duper silo to rescue the third hostage, Deputy Pratt, and upon which completing the third and final region. Seeing as I've just killed all of his siblings, Joseph C calls us to where the game started, his church. We journey to the center of Hope County to find him in a passive aggressive state, leaving us with two choices. Take our friends and leave, or, is it worth or resist. Taking your friends and leaving actually shows a secret ending, so to progress, you have to resist. When you do, Joseph becomes enraged, knocking over barrels of the bliss everywhere, and leaving you to recapture the minds of all your allies, until the point of Joseph becoming vulnerable. Neutralize. We got him. Neutralize the father. That's upsetting to get rid of Joseph now. Just killed his entire family. Now him. I'm so sorry, sir. You just wanted to pray. Joseph doesn't resist the arrest, but before all is well, a giant mushroom cloud appears in the background. It is the collapse, the prophecy of which Joseph speaks all through the game. We shove Joseph and the gang into a car and rush for the bunker on Dutch's little island. Before we reach the end, a horrific car crash. From there, the Together Forever trophy pops for reaching the end. The one person escaping the car crash seemingly unharmed, you guessed it, Joseph. We then awake handcuffed with Joseph standing ready to talk to us about the death of his siblings, while standing over the dead body of Dutch. Brutal. With this scene, the story of Far Cry 5 is over, but we've still got a fair few trophies to go, so let's go get them. Alright, let's buy some cars. What should we get? What should we get? Let's get this one. And this one. Big spender, that's what we we're after. Spend $50,000 in vehicle shops. Done. Destroying 10 planes whilst in an aerial vehicle gets us the Ace Killer Trophy. Just park some planes up and shoot them. Okay, there is four vehicles underneath my plane. If I just drop a bomb now. Death from above, that is disabling four vehicles at once with a plane. Back it up. Oh, fertilizing the land. You pop them like a balloon. Easy peasy. Using a tractor to obliterate five enemies. The Reaper tractor does it again. Getting all four fishing rods grants us the Hope County Master Angler trophy. Popped at a really random time for me. Followed by the Been There Done That trophy for completing all fishing and hunting challenges. And now, if we go into our sell loot, we can sell all the fish. For the final trophy, fish market to sell 20 fish. Bring it on, come on, come on. And we always had faith in you, platinum trophy. Victory. Far Cry New Dawn is the final platinum I need to get to have done all of them on the channel. 
Obviously you can't get one for Far Cry Classic and Far Cry 2 is now unobtainable, so we're now left with New Dawn. I've been asked for New Dawn a lot in the comments and I felt it's time I obliged. Set 17 years after the apocalyptic scenes of Far Cry 5, we're now in a world of rebuild. Vibrant Earth is blooming but not everything is going smoothly. Thanks to our NC Collective for the support as always and make sure to smash that like button guys, subscribe to the channel, I mean, what are you waiting for? Far Cry New Dawn starts like most Far Cry games, meeting the villain, or in this case, villains. New Dawns are evil twin sisters Mickey and Lou and their army called the Highwaymen. We're part of a scavenger group that's looking to erase the toxicity of Mickey and Lou from this brand new version of Hope County. We managed to escape our first encounter with Mickey and Lou and meet our first ally Carmina. Carmina and I work to get back to the home base known as Prosperity, but not before we craft our first weapon, the saw blade, and take it out for a whirl. Oh, that's pretty good actually. I don't mind that at all. Oh, he's punching her in the face. <laughs> oh god, this shouldn't be celebrated, should it? Real quickly, boom. Oh, that's got a good sound. Punch. He hit me with the gun. That's right. Sit down. E first trophy, the meaning of prosperity. Help Carmina get back to her mother in prosperity. Ah, oh, we can customize our guy finally. Grab a change of clothes. Okay, I'm not too concerned what I look like. I mean, who looks cool? He looks good. He looks good. Let's just go with the first one. No, it's boring, but... I mean, considering that's what I pretty much dress like normally, I feel like that should be the way to go. The plaid, but I'm going to go camo. I mean, I think we go camo. With a handlebar moustache and some wrapped hand gear. Done! We then get a first look at the map. It shows our home base of prosperity, bases we need to take over from the highwaymen, and specialists we can recruit to aid us in our fight, not to mention give us some trophies. Like this guy, for example, Bean. Bean can provide intel for us, but requires us to complete his mission first. Woo, wiki Bean here in business. There you go. Help Bean get back his business plan. There you go. He's back in uh, prosperity now, so we can use him for whatever he's going to give us intel, I imagine. Boom! Oh, yeah. That, that felt good. That felt good. As we need to get specialists for trophies, we decide to go for a second straight away. Next is Celine. She needs us to recover her medical supplies and can offer plants for crafting once recruited. Deep dive completed. Coming up with the goods. There you go. Celine's valuable stash. There you go. She's now set up at. Come on, Roy Kill again. Do, 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 do. We also managed to rescue Timber, a specialist dog that can be used for spotting enemies. He's locked up and needs rescuing. No trophy for rescuing him, but there is one down the line, so we will need him. We then take over our first base. Once taken, you can salvage the bases and let the difficulty go up. Three tiers of this. Oh, oh okay. Arnold wouldn't run out of ammo that quick. In the knees. In the knees. Salvaging a base grants us ethanol and the trophy reduce, reuse, recycle. We then get a trophy for becoming Batman and throwing some smoke grenades. Before spotting an ethanol truck in need of a quick hijacking. Deliver it back to the base for a trophy. Stealing an ethanol truck. Yeah, boy. Drive this back to a liberated outpost or to prosperity. Let's go. Exit vehicle. Here. White gold. Boom. There you go. Commandeer an ethanol tanker and bring it back to one of your outposts. Quick, grab all the plants. Grab a plant. Ooh, got a trophy forager. I'm assuming it's for grabbing... 15 plants, not a lot. <laughs> That's a nice easy one. We then rescue Thomas Rush, the guy that pushed us, saving us from the sisters at the start. Bringing him back to prosperity allows us to upgrade the base in overall status. Upgrade the healing garden. Woo! Home is where the part is. Upgrade prosperity's infrastructure for the first time. In the story, the twins catch wind of all the trouble you've been causing to the highwaymen. They decide to pay Prosperity a visit, threatening you all if you don't stop messing. Even threatening the kids. After defending the base, we get another story trophy. Prospering. Get lost, pal. Master plaid trap. 
Gimme, 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 gimme the supply drop. There's only one guy guarding it. Yeah, yoink. <laughs> Is that Steeler? Yeah, Steeler supply, supply dropped. <laughs> While taking another base, we come across our first enforcer. These guys early on are a troubling feat. Later on, mm, not so much. Is that an enforcer? I think it is. Boom! This enforcer is going to get blown to shit. Blown to shit, son! How much health has he got? Oh my god, he's got a lot of health. I did not realize you'd have so much health, sir. Come on, come on, come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Nearly got him. Oh my god, I can't see shit. Got him! Oh my god. Captain's courageous. Kill your first enforcer. Mate, he is... They're tough. They are tough. And straight after we take the base, we speak to more scavengers with information. Gathering intel 10 times gives us the honorary scout trophy. Whilst driving around with Timber, we pick up a trophy for having him in a sidecar for five minutes, followed by a graceful return for picking up another specialist. The next set of trophies we get are from expeditions, completing seven expeditions three times each on progressively harder difficulties. Plenty of trophies tied in with this game mode, including Expeditious Retreat for completing an expedition, Have Buddy Will Travel for completing three expeditions with a co-op partner, and once you've finished all seven on all three difficulties, you'll be awarded Hit the Road. Whilst on the expedition, we crafted 10 medikits for a quick trophy, killed 10 brawlers with any saw launchers for buzzkill, we threw a shield like Captain America, killing five enemies for good job cap. We then craft three weapons for weaponsmith and kill an enforcer with a bayonet. That one is satisfying. In one of the expeditions, there's a delightful laptop in a crashed plane. Accessing the laptop gives us Sam Fisher's suit, which is highly satisfying and even better, gives us Paladin secret trophy. Finally, in this section, we kill our first monstrous animal for the kill or be killed trophy. There are four monstrous animals in the game. And finally, getting 25 takedowns of any kind for the bring a knife to a gunfight trophy. This whole section of the game and the expeditions were helped by Patreon and NC Collective great RitzyKiller125. The help was greatly appreciated here, so thank you very much, sir. Finally, we can pick the lock. Oh, that was a pain in the ass. Don't like these treasure hunts. A bit too complex for my liking. Oh, but we do get safekeeping, which is picklock five safe. Picklock five safes. With no more banks, it's the closest thing you'll get to experiencing a heist. One of the specialists is Nick Rye. There are a couple of trophies tied in with his flightless plane mission. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. Ah! Fly, you fools. Fly you fools, <laughs> got a trophy, what's that for? No wings means less drag, right? <laughs> oh man, all the Lord of the Rings fans right there. All right, let's park this baby up. Managed to get through, reunited them. There you go, Nick Rye. The reunion, there you go. That's for getting Kim and Nick back together. Okay, we're here to start the new mission of New Eden. Looks proper ropey. Oh. Can you hear my voice? We've got Joseph back. Hang on a second. There we are. Joseph's seed returns. The prophecy. Okay. But hell had followed the white horse. Just replaying the end of Far Cry 5 here with the bomb going off. This is pretty good, actually. As much as I got tired of Far Cry 5, I think this is uh, it's pretty damn good. Oh, Joseph's word. Mission item. Like the Bible, basically. Yeah! There you go. Tip of the hat. We got it. Bonk, 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 bonk. Now run away. Now we've got the word of Joseph, we go and knock on the door to New Eden. Here we're presented to the leader... Ethan, Joseph's son. He sends us on our way to the very north to seek Joseph and return. A long boat ride up the river takes us straight to my doppelganger. Joseph says his normal religious statements to us and hands us a piece of fruit that can give us superpowers. We unlock a new set of skills, including a skill named Wrath, which allows us to punch Yogi Bear in the belly so hard the ragdoll effect begins. 
We return to New Eden with Joseph, to which he's now an ally and will help us rid of the twins, Mickey and Lou. Joseph's secret completed. Return to Eden trophy unlocked and we get the judge. Now apparently the judge is meant to be Rook from Far Cry 5, the character you play as, who at the end obviously got locked in a bunker with Joseph. Um, and this is uh, this is him. So we get to play, or we get to have the guy we played as. We continue getting more specialists, this time with Far Cry royalty, Herc, who wants us to help him rescue his car. Mm, it's Herc. Herc's back. Oh, hey, Migo. Hey, Migo. Let's talk to Herc. Far Cry legend. Oh my god, just mowing him down with this car. Thanks to the car and let it explode. He's sick of the car now. Now he's sick of it. All right, here we go. <laughs> we now have Herc and the gift horse we can get. We then kill a few guards guarding yet another specialist, Horatio. Pet Horatio. All right. Hey, big boy. Is it easy enough just to claim him now? Yeah, to love a ball. That was super quick. <laughs> just kill everyone around here, save your bacon, get a trophy, and we get a giant boar as a pet. We then attempt to headshot an enforcer with an armor-piercing shot. Boom! It's super effective! Yes! Headshot the enforcer with an armor-piercing bullet. And trying our luck trying to take a tier 3 base out undetected. Sniping enemies from a very far distance away was working out the best. Armor-piercing bullets were a lifesaver here as well. It ended up in a very, very surprising fashion. LOL! The dog blew the guy up! Dog's wearing a bomb. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Did Sam Fisher just do that undetected? Yeah, broken, forge, liberated, undetected. <laughs> Pure ninja. Love it. I love it. We then craft a legendary weapon for a nice easy trophy. Legend has it. Use our special leap of faith ability that allows an extra jump to save us from a fall of 50 meters or more. This grants a springboard. Classic Far Cry trophy here in an arrow kill from a certain distance. 100 meters on New Dawn for archery expert. Completing three treasure hunt missions not only gets you a load of goodies, but also the finder's keepers trophy. And our final specialist was Gina. Gina needs rescuing at a demolition race. Nice and easy, just take out anyone who gets in her way. And um, pow. Kill Gina's opponents. Pow. Nice. Need next to gun, I'm in. We got Gina. Close for applications as well. Recruit all guns for hire. We are done with the recruitment. Woohoo! The next major step of the story all changed together until the end. We're summoned to an area to find Mickey and Lou, where we discover they have Thomas Rush hostage again, punishing the scavengers and mainly us for messing with their operations. They decide to execute Mr. Rush and try to kill us too, of course. To which we use our One Piece Devil Fruit powers to throw Miss Biker Girl into the wall. But a big boy gun is our undoing, with Mickey and Lou shooting us out of a window. With that plan ended, we're hooked up with our next connection, Erwin. Erwin runs a highwayman underground fighting club to which we are entered to prove we have what it takes to become a highwayman. All the marbles, beat the champion. Okay, he's ziplining in, he's got a shield. Let's just hold. Bang. Yeah, no more shield, bitch. Now you're gonna get your ass kicked. Now you're getting your ass kicked. Boom! Lollipop wins. Erwin and us come to an understanding to which we need to get close to Mickey and Lou. He said there's a race at a demolition derby and the winner gets meeting with the twins. In order to get into the race, we must take out another driver. This driver so happens to be a guard at the local prison, to which we are now a prisoner. This section only lasts around 10 minutes and allows us to act how we're dressed, Sam Fisher style. Killing the bloke and escaping allows us to now enter the race. Upgrade medikits. Upgrade medikits. Stack them up. We got another trophy. Purchase the fifth tier of a stackable perk. You can never have enough. We've got a load of medikits now. Yeah, eliminated the opponents. That mission done. One of the demolition derby. Let's go. 
After we win the demolition derby, we're put in front of the twins, ready for us to take our shot. But a surprise happens. As upset with Joseph, Ethan comes to the twins to put an end to Joseph and his followers for what he believes is the betrayal of his father. The twins agree to take care of Ethan's problem and set off to New Eden immediately. We follow closely behind the twins, but are slightly late. New Eden has burned to the ground with everyone still in it. We're then finally confronted by Mickey and Lou and our battle with the villains begins. Come on, die, die. Ah, so much smoke. There's so much smoke. Ow, ow, there she is, there she is. She's gonna die, she's gonna die. Why can't it just ever be a, a straight fight? There you go. Snipe, 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 snipe. I'm gonna kick it to death. Ha! Superpowers, superpowers. Got my superpowers. Yes! The superpowers work. Get off, get off, dog. That, that fight was just so bizarre. Because you can't see anything. There's fire everywhere. You don't even have the pleasure of killing them. They do what I gotta do. Problem solver. Okay, we got the trophy problem solver. That's solved the biggest problem in Hope County by defeating the twins. Right, well, we defeated the twins. Okay, I guess I just leave, leave her there. Or should I kill her? Look away! After leaving the twins cuddled on the ground, we're back up the north. Ethan and Joseph's confrontation was not over. With Ethan in pain to the fact that Joseph gave us the devil fruit rather than him, because obviously our heart is pure and his, well, isn't. Eating the devil fruit without being pure transforms Ethan into what only can be described as a destructo bear. Holy crap. That's a... Uh, that's a lot of Ethan. Uh, okay. I'm so dead. I'm just dead, aren't I? I'm just so dead. I'm so dead. Yes, got him. I didn't die. Oh, that was a that was an odd fight. <laughs> Ethan's soul fight. Okay. Well, we got him. It was better than the uh, than the twins fight, to be fair. With Joseph comforting Ethan in his death, he turns to us realising that he wasn't God's shepherd all along. We were. He points our gun to his chest. Insert your tears. The end of Eden. It's popped. Decide the fate of the father. Now the game has been completed, it's time to clean up the remaining trophies. Okay, we're going to sneak up on these guys and then I'm going to do the double jump and hopefully hopefully take one out boom that was good right yeah hey father watch this that is for doing the double jump and landing on someone okay if we buy a final upgrade Eden's gift cha-ching percolate 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 yes Unlock the first level of all perks. We only just got that because of the Eden ones. Sorry, cow. I think, I think you're the last one I need. Yes! The cattle was the last one. Master Skinner. Skin every single animal in the game. 25. Yeah, we got it. Largemouth bass. You're a catch. The last one I was missing. Thought I had it, but I didn't. Okay, this is the last MP3 player. Get that snake off me. So many snakes. Pick the lock to get in the door. Come on, let's get that MP3. Come on. Audio file completed. Yes, there it is. Audio file. Thank God for that. I was, I was panicking there. Okay, and we just got audio file, but now we're going to get the last photo done hold up the photo a thousand words completed come on yeah silver trophy before do all nine photos killing 10 enemies whilst our wrath ability is active grants us a trophy normally you would do this with chain takedowns as it can refresh the ability but i struggled so hard with that and decided to use an attack chopper yes we got it anger management Woo! 
kill 10 people while using the uh, the Eden power. That is uh, that's bloody difficult. Boom! That was easy. That was easy. Level 3. I think that's the final one as my Rainbow Six Vegas looking character. All your bases. Come on! One more trophy to get and we're going to go get it right now. Okay, upgrade the healing garden. Is level 3. Upgrade the cartography. Up to level 3. My little fortress for upgrading all of prosperity maximum. And Conqueror. Come on. All the Far Cry Platinums now with New Dawn done. Happy days. Come on. Far Cry 6 has come under a ton of scrutiny. With a low Metacritic score, I wanted to find out whether it really was all that bad. It turns out, it's incredible. I absolutely loved playing this game, and I decided after the first hour, do you know what? I'm going to 100% this. I'm going to get the Platinum. Step 1 is simply complete the story. You need to complete the story to achieve what will be Step 4. Step 2 is to clean all trophy related missions and destroy all FND bases, get checkpoints and we'll go through that further in the game. Step 3 is to collect all collectibles such as roosters, unique weapons and even USB sticks. Step 4 is one trophy we'll discuss at the end of the video but basically you need to complete the story to actually achieve this trophy by killing an insurgent that spawns on a weekly mission update. Before we get into the video though guys, make sure to like, subscribe and visit the channel for much more videos that I promise you'll enjoy. Let's get into it. The game is set in Yara, a tropical paradise controlled by dictator Anton Castillo and his son Diego. Anton Castillo played by Giancarlo Espanito, the guy Gus from Breaking Bad or Moff Gideon from Mandalorian if you have seen him. We play as Danny Rojas, a local Yaran who watches his friends die and becomes a guerrilla to fight in the revolution. And the trophy starts with picking your look, male or female. Losing your best friend by headshot Getting onto a boat, escaping the island to find out that Castillo's son Diego was stowed aboard on the island to escape the horrible dictatorship of his father. From then on, you see the wrath of Castillo when he takes his son back and opens fire to sink the boat, where you then wake up, however many hours later, barely breathing with your best friend shot in the neck and dying. Now, the reason this sob story is actually happening is because Lita was part of the revolution. She was part of Libertad and she's trying to get Danny involved. You eventually go up the mountain, take her place at Libertad while meeting Clara. Clara is the head of the careers in Libertad. She introduces you to a lovely man called Juan Cortez. Juan Cortez has one of the best things about him, which is Guapo. Guapo, the crocodile. And he even gives you a trophy for petting him. Juan also shows us how to use the workbench, gives us Far Cry 6's newest edition, the Supremo, and special resolver weapons which require uranium to upgrade. Yeah, uranium. It is too round on the top, it needs to be pointy. Once we liberate the first little island, we head to the mainland, and there's a little trophy where you just have to sail to Miami. Wasn't sure how to do this, but if you look at a map, you can literally just sail off the edge. Hidden in plain sight. There it is. Trophy complete. Find your way to Miami. All you have to do is just go there. First, we try and help the Monteros in Madrugada and try and recruit them to the Libertad cause. Then we head over to Barasaras to try and recruit Maximus Mantanzas, the music group. And finally, we recruit El Tigre and the Legends of 67 Revolution in El Este. We then get a series of trophies. Codependent, capturing an FND base with a cart partner. There it is. Codependent captured an FND base with a cart partner. At least they do a little matchmaking thing on this as well, so you don't have to invite, just can search. So that's handy. We need to get a hijack kill whilst on horseback, which is unbelievably cool. Get him. Come on. Catch up with him. Catch up with him. Hijack. Oh yeah! Right in the neck. Road Rage Trophy. Form a vehicle machete kill from a horse. Hell yeah. I felt really cool. There are a few trophies for special operation missions in this game. One is to collect a hidden stash item in a special operation, and the other is to just simply finish the special operation. Oh, and got the trophy overheated. Complete a special operation. And then my personal favorite. More. Oos. 
GTA motherfucker! Hit and run! <laughs> run over 10 soldiers in a vehicle. <laughs> With the Montero clan, we meet Philly Barzaga. Now, Philly's important because he has a little dog that becomes one of your amigos. That dog, little Chorizo here. Chorizo's important because he has a special ability to distract enemies, which leads to a trophy. Secret weapon, distract ten enemies with, or was, yeah, with chorizo. You, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Jesus Christ, can't get words out. There are so many great missions in this game, and one of them is an extraction mission. It's the first time heat is really illustrated in this game, that little red bar to the side of the mini-map. It works similar to the GTA system of stars. The higher the red bar, the higher the wanted level. More enemies coming at you. And if you take out ten enemies when your heat is extremely high, you get a trophy. Oh, heated conflict. Take out 10 soldiers while active heat. Happy days. Also looks good because I did it with a Molotov. Come on. During the main storyline, we're instructed to kill the lieutenants of Castillo. They're currently hiding at all different bases and we start here with the second one, using the rifle to take down all the guards outside and inside the facility. In the third area, it's a nighttime drop outside of Villa. Loads of special forces here, and killing special forces actually grants a trophy too. Oi, not so special trophy there. Take out spend 10 special forces soldiers. Yeah, they weren't so special. Castillo controls Yara for all different kinds of bases. He has checkpoints across the roads, artillery bases, which you gather the uranium from, and these sort of bases, FND, which is a giant facility with a ton of guards. You get a trophy here for taking over an FND base without making a peep. Who's that stumbling around in the dark? Hey, Ninjarilla. Captured an FND base without being detected. Did it by accident. Happy days. For the final mission of the Monteros, we have to steal a plane and then bomb the tobacco fields of Castillo. Leads up to an incredible fight with his nephew in a helicopter at the end of this level, which we'll show off now. Oh, I do have to land it. What are you doing? Can you? We're good. Just let each other, let everyone kill each other. I don't have one right now. I do have this incredible weapon right now, though. Uh oh. Oh, he's, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. We got him. We got him. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. The Monteros will fight with Libertad. Awesome. We got Chorizo in the picture as well. Montero Justica. Justicia? I don't know. Recruit the Monteros. Lovely. That is one out of three, I think, for the little factions. We get a little trophy here for the Los Bandidos mini game where you just send recruits out to file missions for you to get quick rewards. Complete three to get a trophy. There it is, Alpha Guerrilla. Successfully complete five Bandido operations. The second faction you're trying to get on your side is Maximus Mantanzas, the music group. Now these three, they're a lot of trouble and they've got some crazy missions. One of which is rescuing a bunch of hostages in a zoo. You're killing tigers and crazy other animals and it is horrible to do because if you're an animal lover like me, it's not pleasant to see all these animals ripped apart on the sidelines. The second one is to rescue a doctor and his patient out of this hospital while the army is chasing you, which leads to a trophy where we turn enemies on each other by shooting the specific kind of bullet. Hey, toxic influence. There it is. Have poison soldiers kill five enemies. Just killing each other there. We follow up another quick trophy. When you get into a tower big enough that has a 50 meter range, just kill an enemy. Nice, easy pop. The first of two main missions with Maximus here is where you have to make them perform on a live audience in front of the people. So you're trying to claim this stage 
with all the mics and stuff. And I think I'm losing my edge because this music is just crazy weird. Once you do realize it's really bad music, you start defending them, which is great because then we can use an EMP against this tank and try and claim another trophy coming up, which tanks, real pain in the ass. When you manage to get the EMP grenades and sticky stuff, makes it a whole lot easier. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, got a trophy. Not so tough. Disable and hijack a tank using an EMP device. Happy days. The second one of these main missions is yourself and Talia both infiltrate Castillo's plant where they demonstrate, give press tours, all different kinds of things like this. And you disguise yourself as journalists. Maria, who is a very big villain in this game and secretly, spoiler alert, mother of Diego, has a history with Talia, ticks her off and she kind of just loses the plot and it's one of the greatest scenes in the game because, I mean, look at that. I mean, it's devastating. Once Maria is dead, a phone call goes out to Castillo to let him know. He sits down with Diego and simply says, your mother is dead. No greater way, no simpler way to let him know. Not even sure Diego knew Maria was his mother. It's not the end of the game or the end of the mission. Dr. Reyes is still about and he's the second target with Maximus Mantanzas. You infiltrate one of their bases while missing an easy sniper shot like that. Get all the way through to Dr. Reyes where he will unleash so much of that horrible poison gas at you. The same poison I shot people with to turn them on themselves is the poison he leaks into a room. You manage to shoot through a vent. You manage. I manage. Same person here. Get through the vent, get down, and you're hallucinating like crazy. And it was so freaky shooting all these doctors because which one is which? Did I kill him? It's actually him. We get an escape with Juan Cortez and then Maximus Mantanzas belong with us. There it is, Voz del Pueblo. Recruit Maximus Mantanzas. Probably butchered that name, but the musicians are with us. Come on. <laughs> there it is. Jawson Brody, take out a shark with an explosion. <laughs> oh, I love it. RPG a shark in the face and kill yourself while doing it. Lovely. Turning yourself into the George of the Jungle, making your way up the mountains and down some zip lines to meet the legends of the 67. El Tigre. What a Danny. El Tigre, Lucky Mama, and Lorenzo. Now these three legends are part of a past history of Yara where they fought their revolution and they don't really want to get involved with the modern one. Disabling all security cameras with a control panel while on a mission for these guys as well brought us a nice trophy. Hey, didn't see that coming. Use the security control center to disable all cameras and alarms. Not important to the story whatsoever, but when you get to the back to the camps, you can play a load of mini games in all different camps. You can cockfight in one, you can play dominoes in the other, and of course, brings you a trophy for winning. No, you Think Woo! Right. Boom! <laughs> Beginner's luck, come on! Win a dominoes game. After we smash some old people at dominoes, we go back to a secret base where the head of La Moral is, Yelena. Yelena gives El Tigre and me an objective to go kill one of Castillo's admirals, Benitez. We take a tank up the hill and start smashing. Oh, bloody hell, the head of El Tigre. Come on, fire. There we go. That five man fire. Let's go get her. Boom. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Easy. Bye bye, Admiral Benitez. Adios, Benitez. Adios.
After a successful kill on Benitez, we end up at Party Island, where we take this opportunity to get the fishing trophy. Catch 10 fish. We get our first one here, and the 10th follows. Ooh, and there it is. Sophisticated catch 10 fish. Woohoo! Done it. Not all the missions are sunshine and rainbows, though. We watch LT Grey die to that disgusting gas. We end up hacking into a computer and meeting a Mr. McKay, the guy that's funding the war for Castillo. Now, this guy's a real piece of work, but that's okay, because our job next, find him and kill him. Nice. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not killing him. La Morale and the Legends will fight. Ooh. Cutting foreign ties. Recruit the Legends of 67 and La Morale. See you, Danny. Hogger Dolce Hogger. Fully upgrade one camp facility at any Gaia camp. Come on! Now, just like Domino's in the other mini game, we also have cockfighting, and you need to collect the roosters to actually do this. It turns into Tekken, but it's awesome. One, Round one. Fight. Oh, KO! <laughs> They're trickier than you think. Not quite Tekken difficulty, but it's up there and get the trophy top of the pecking order, win a cockfighting match. Excellent. And if we build a fishing hut here, we do get the trophy glamping. There it is, build one of each camp facility. So we upgraded one maximum, won a cockfighting fight, and now get this one. That means we have every facility at all three camps, which is great. We then take out 10 different checkpoints to unlock a new trophy. The final chapter in this game all revolves around getting Anton Castillo. Salting his penthouse, and what do you find? Baby Castillo, which helps you in the next scene here, because you get captured by Anton and one of his major guards. Torturing you, Diego doesn't like it. Diego ends up saving your life before Anton finally tries to get rid of you for a third time now and is unsuccessful again. We well, all know what it's like receiving this message, final mission of the story. Like many missions in this game, it includes a part one and a part two. The part one is Clara's been taken, Juan Cortez makes you go in, disguised as a guard, get back to Castillo's mansion and save her. We start assaulting everybody leading up to this. We finally get to the mansion and what do we find? We find Clara there at a dinner table with Castillo himself and Diego. Now, obviously, it didn't end too well for Clara, but we did become head of Libertad after that, and we get to assault Castillo all the way through the town. We're in the top area now of Esperanza, where Castillo is hiding out in his penthouse, where we assaulted for the first time and missed him. We're running through. It's a lot of fun. Into the alleyway. Left. One down. Two down. One up top there. I just poke him, poke him, poke him. Yeah, I got him. Hit fire on this thing. It's crazy. That thing hurts. You're dead too. When you finally reach Castillo, I had honestly just a horrible reaction to this clip because it genuinely hurt me. You'll be safe. I promise. Lies. <gasps> he shot his son. Oh my god. Oh my god. reason we are standing here is because we didn't wait for one person to solve all our problems viva a revolution take back yara skip that a little bit but it truly was an unbelievable story but what's next step two we've got to capture fnd bases checkpoints gather miscellaneous items collectibles usb sticks roosters unique weapons there's so much more to do guys so on with the platinum journey 
Another quick trophy was sabotaging an alarm with some special gloves, getting an enemy to use it. Boom. Death. Then destroying a 16th artillery base. Felt like way more than that. Reaching the rank of Comandante, which is 14. And sliding 200 meters down a giant hill. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> That's a long slide. 200 meters coming up. Oh, beautiful. Slip slide away. Slide 200 meters at once. Bloody hell, mate. Throughout the game, there are these Primero races where you could be in a jet ski, you could be in a car, you could be in a buggy, you could be in a variety of things, but you need to win three races to get the trophy. Here we are in our final and third race, and they're a good bunch of fun, these races, because you also need them to unlock all of the items for your vehicles. <laughs> so I got 40 seconds to get through here. And cross the line. The cross the line! Uh, racing speed racer there's the trophy complete three grand premios come on come on much like earlier when we got the stash trophy from the special operations here we're going to get the trophy for not letting the pg 240x this heating module get past 50 percent on the overheating you need to keep it in the shade and put water on it okay, i'm at the air base now i just have to keep it cool and, and evacuate the area and i'm done and i am fully prepared now because i know what what comes you take out a load of guards and at the end there's a tank and like last time I was I didn't have anything to take out a tank with. Hit him. Special operation completed. Okay. Let's see if we get the trophy. There it is, stay cool. Woohoo! Complete any special operation without exceeding 50% on the PG 240X's temperature meter. Woohoo! The second half of this is we're gonna rescue 30 informants on the same level. Disgusting. Alright. You're free. You're free. Oh, there's a third. Three. Lola's informants. Operation objective completed. It's really cool. Like, there's hostages here, and like, the guards are like, I'll do it. And they're like aiming at the hostage. Hey, termination phase. Free 30 hostages during Lola's informants challenge in any special operation. Across the map, you get these FND vehicles as well, marked on the mini map. Nice and easy. Hijack it, return it safely, and you get another trophy. Hey, lovely. Finders Keepers, that is for returning three FND resource vehicles in mint condition. As stated with the Primero race, you need to get installations on a car, all the vehicle upgrades, so that's defense items, attack weapons, and one is finally completed with this race here. Ooh, furiously fast trophy. Have 10 parts installed on a ride. Ooh, trophy, gold trophy, Liberty, capture all FND bases. I've been waiting a long time to get that one. Never know if it's the last one or not. We've got it. Gold trophy, that's a big one. That's a big one. So for this next trophy, Shikaran, Shikarian, however you pronounce this Pokemon looking rooster amigo you get on the game. You just have to apply the mother clucker outfit to him when you got him. And back. There it is, strutting this stuff. I was hoping it would pop up there, jeez. Equip Shakaran with the Mother Clock Air outfit. Bang. Supply drops on this game are a timed event. Beat the enemy to them and loot them. Here. Right, let's go, 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 go. Pistol or... MP5. Switch to pistol. Bang, bang. Clip. I drop, supply drop, give me my trophy. Yeah, it's raining treasure. There it is. Intercept 10 military supply drops. Woohoo. I'm waiting for that one. I'm just going to add a few mods into this to get four mods or maximum mods in a result of a weapon. There it is. Do it yourself. You just got to change all the mods. It already had four mods, which is a bit, it's a bit deceiving with the trophy there. But uh, yeah, just change all the mods and you get that trophy. Awesome. And for the final USB stick, 15 out of 15. That's my jam. Find 15 USB sticks. This is the start of Triada Blessings, which I have a few trophies connected to, which is get the five amigos. That fifth amigo I need is connected to this. The last Supremo I need is connected to this trophy. 
And also you get a trophy just for doing the quest line. So you've got to collect three idols. We're going to start the quest line now. Um, and we'll see how I get on. And at the end of the tunnel, there is an idol. There it is. That's the first of three. Here's number two. That was a really tricky one in some like haunted little house into a little cave. So there's number two out of three. That was a really quick one to do. Now we are back at the original cave where we got the quest and to hand that in. There's the three idols. What's happening? Holy moly. Got more to explore in this cave now. And to explore is a treasure chest. And there it is, backpacking. We've got acquire every Supremo in Yara. So that's good. Fight the guardian spirits in Aloas. Uh oh. Join forces with Aluso. So if I revive the old panther looking creature, who looks amazing. Look at those eyes. Undying tradition. Complete the Yaran story, tree out of blessings. And Loyal Army, there it is. Recruit five amigos. There's the three trophies connected to it. Woo! And we got a Luso. That'd be cool to use. This right here is the final rooster to collect. Come on, give me the trophy. Woohoo! Recruster, there it is. There are four cars to pick up in the story. We have one pickup from a random warehouse. You get the Yamis Kag Jeep on a side quest. We got one from doing a Primero race and you get one automatically with the game. There are five mythical animals to hunt in this game. The giant hog, the black and white doming cow wolves, then on Diente the crocodile who bleeds that horrible disgusting mist, and Sanguinario the jaguar who only can be hunted at night. And let me tell you, he is such a difficult animal to take down. Oh, 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 that was a tough one. Ultimate predator trophy. Hunt all the mythical animals. Awesome. That is a, that's a big cat. With all the mythical animals dead, you can collect meat and grab the trophy Fry Cry for purchasing 15 meals. Working our way through the cave and this should be... It is! Arm to the teeth. That's a long journey to get 49 unique weapons. Luckily, they tell you on the weapon which one it is and where it is. Oh, yes! And with all the cryptogramma charts acquired, that means we can finally unlock the last chest in the game or the trophy. Pop, will you? Pop, damn you! There it is. That's puzzling. Oh, such a relief to get that one. Unlock 15 cryptogramma chests. Come on! So it's been three weeks now, and this is the trophy that has been tormenting me. It is insurgency. You need to take down three of the leaders, and to do so, you need to do it weekly. It resets every seven days. You need to take down two checkpoints, two anti-aircraft cannons. You need to do a special operation, a specific one, changes every week, and an FND base. Then the insurgent will reveal themselves and you can kill them. This needs to be done three times. So I needed to do this over three different weeks. We're here on week three. Let's get it done. So we've just completed the four main objectives to lure out Percio Perez. He is the third insurgent. So we should get the trophy once he's killed or I'm, I'm going to cry. Oh, no, you don't. There's the trophy. Come on. And there it is. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Oh, God. Conquistador. Unlock all trophies. What a journey it's been. Phenomenal game. If you guys haven't played it, I would highly recommend. There it is. The Platinum for Far Cry 6.